In 2019, Dr. Kate Adamala got a $4 million grant to create something that had never existed in nature. Something that could cure diseases, solve antibiotic resistance, unlock the secrets of life itself. Then she realized she was building a potential doomsday weapon and stopped. See, every structure in nature is either right-handed or left-handed. We call it chirality, and it was discovered by Louis Pasteur in 1848. Our entire world depends on this chiral system, and Dr. Adamala's team wanted to build the opposite, a mirror cell, where everything, DNA, proteins, all of it, runs backwards. Scientists have created mirror molecules, which are harmless as is, but no one has achieved an entire mirror cell. For a while, scientists didn't give it much thought because the concept was so far-fetched, it felt more like science fiction. But now, scientists like Adamala are beginning to realize mirror cells are a lot closer to reality than we realized. And mirror cells have a superpower. Our bodies don't recognize them, which theoretically means they won't break down in the body, which makes them perfect for drugs that need to last, like antibiotics or cancer medications. But here's the rub. If our bodies don't recognize mirror cells, that means your immune system won't trigger an immune response. This means vaccines wouldn't work because they're designed for normal cells, not their mirror images. Antibiotics? Useless, they're chiral too. A mirror bacterium would be invisible to every defense Earth has spent billions of years evolving. For context, Dr. David Relman, a Stanford professor, called mirror life the first plausible existential risk of his entire career, and he investigated the 2001 anthrax letters. In February of this year, nearly 100 scientists signed a statement, mirror life should not be created unless future research convincingly demonstrates its safety. But not everyone agrees. Michael Kay, a biochemist at the University of Utah, thinks mirror molecules could be beneficial in therapeutics. And he's not wrong. The same property that makes mirror cells deadly makes them medically valuable. It's like two sides of the same coin. But right now, the unknown factor is far too risky. If mirror cells are unleashed into our world, they could either starve to death or consume all resources on Earth and compete with existing life and no one is comfy with those odds. Ultimately, Adamala chose not to renew her research grant and ended her lab's work on mirror cells, and her colleagues did the same. In a strange twist of fate, she is now focusing on regulating mirror life research instead. This is what scientific responsibility looks like. Scientists coming together, recognizing the dangers, and choosing not to open Pandora's box. Sometimes the most important discoveries are the ones we choose not to make. Remember, we're capping off our spooky science series with our Halloween themed YouTube episode dropping on October 30th, so you don't want to miss that.